Welcome to Problem Solvers, where we draw all the answers. I'm Nathan. I'm Caldwell. And uh, I'm still introducing episodes this week because... You're, you're uh, still running the show. Because I'm I'm the supreme champion. Yeah, you're, you're doing mm, great job. Love it. Uh, just no responsibilities for me. I don't need it. I just kick back. I'm like on a daily vacation over here. Hey, maybe you should uh, read the... Uh, the, the problem though. Uh-huh. Because yeah. that, Is that, that's, okay. what I, that's what I did. All right. Well, uh, here we go. Um, Emily Healy says, I have a terrible job. I'm paid minimum wage, and my boss takes out her stress and anger on me when I'm the best employee there. How do I quit in a way that tells her to fuck off while also retaining a good reverence for future employment? Emily, we got your back. Uh, Nate's drawn what looks to be uh, a domineering uh, corporate overlord. Yeah, that's your boss. I'm imagining mm-hmm. like sort of a, a miss... Miss mm-hmm. Trunchbull type. Yeah, yeah. This is like a like horrible boss's gender swap. That's what's going on here. Well, there's a female. Bo- I guess is there a female boss? Yeah, but she's she's a of course she's she's a sexualized role. Oh, because wait, is that who Jennifer Aniston plays? I've yeah. not seen. I I am not up to date on the she's horrible boss verse. Yeah, the horrible boss verse. Jennifer mm-hmm. Aniston is obsessed with yeah. Charlie Day. Yeah, and uh, honestly, I don't know what the problem is there. If I was Charlie Day, <laughs> uh huh, I'd be like, and you want to get a little, yeah, y- like, and Janiston takes an interest in you, Jan- Janiston, yeah, star of. If you get Janiston mm-hmm. interested in you, yeah, you you enjoy it, Janiston, star of Project F R I E N D S, Ferns, uh, yeah, is 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 Project F R I E N D S in N D S? Uh, is that in the Marvel? universe um it's in the, dc it's in the expanded universe okay. yes um, most people refer to it as friends i guess but i like to call it by its proper name yeah i mean it's it's an acronym for sure mm-hmm. so uh this is you this is you so yeah you're right you you want to get a new job you want to get a good new job yeah um and so what you want to do is be super polite yeah you know when you quit let me tell you what you're going to need to do you gotta you gotta pull the con you gotta, you gotta pull gotta a con. Along, a long con. Caldwell and I are mm-hmm. in agreement on this. We have slightly different cons mm-hmm. uh, planned for you. Yeah. But like, this is you. You're 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 handing in your 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 resignation. Mm-hmm. Given your given your two weeks notice. Look at that. Look at that. Um, just that look of resigned respect. She's like, I see. I well under, played. Like, listen, I don't like you, but I respect you. You're you're a hard worker, and you've really you've you've done your best for this company. Uh. Grim- Grimpleton Staplers uh, thanks you for your service. You know, we're not going to be making nearly as good staples. Mm-hmm. If we thank you for your service and your surface, um, which, you know, you, you, I think that her job was maybe like, you know, she pressed herself against the staplers to make sure that right. they worked properly. Like the big industrial ones that you really got to put your weight on. So this is Sta- you. Staple tester. Yeah. <laughs> So this is you. You know, you're you're giving in. You're giving your two weeks. You're very respectful. You're very polite. You're mm-hmm. like, hey, it was great working for you. I'm so happy. And let me tell you, I see why you don't want to work here. Like, look at these chairs. These chairs. These are, are not, bad chairs. They're they're way too low to the ground. They're, they're way like, too little. They're like children's chairs. They don't even exist on the same like perspective plane. They're also like they're also real hot. They yeah. got like fires going on underneath. They're hot. They're hot chairs. Burning your butts. So here's what you do <laughs> for those next two weeks. This chair's burning my butt. Oh, I gotta get out of this place. Got these hot chairs. My uh, my boss is a total asshole. The chairs are so hot. Uh, the break room is just full of bugs. Like, and not even bad bugs. Like, pretty good bugs, honestly. But, like, there should be no bugs there. Like, it's like a bunch of, you know, like, Japanese stag beetles. Some ladybugs. Uh, you know, like, just a really, really... A lot of very pretty butterflies. But, like... I don't think that any break room should have that many butterflies they're very nice though anyway is this is my performance review over yet or am i still going here okay thank you i'll yeah. leave <laughs> yeah you can you can go you you're that was a good so you're not going to solve the bug problem i guess i'll leave but you won't because you're doing the long con well, you said, and here's how you yourself said the bugs weren't bad bugs uh-huh well they're i mean again even if they're good bugs Good bugs still don't belong indoors. I'm sorry that I know that's a bit of a hot take, but don't put those bugs indoors. Keep those bugs out away. Keep those bugs outside where I can enjoy them. That'd be like that'd be like somebody taking a computer outside. I don't want that out there. No, gross. It'd be like somebody like you know taking like a 
a copy of your favorite of your favorite Dreamcast game, Panzer Dragoon, and just sticking it in the dirt. That don't work. You can't put Dragoon in a dirt. I if you Panzers, give it a shot, yeah. Oh, Panzer look. or otherwise. Hey, thanks. Great work. The, just things. Some things don't belong outdoors, and some things don't belong indoors. That's just the way it is. That's the way of the world. I know it's kind of a harsh truth, but man, like, I and I and I will go state to state teaching this lesson to children in elementary schools. I will take their copy of Pokemon uh, Omega Ruby and uh, Alpha Sapphire, and I will stick them straight in the mud. You can hire me to do this. I hope you understand that I will do this for free. You gotta pay for transportation, but this is a new service I'm offering. It's called Cobble Comes to Your School and Sticks Your Video Games in the Mud. And it's not just to teach you a lesson about indoors and outdoors. It's like, it's a lesson that I think any parent uh, would be glad to have. What do you think about my, my business model, Nathan? What do you think about this? Um, it's not just video games, too. I'll stick anything this... in the mud. <laughs> so this is Caldwell's mm. sticking stuff in the mud. Yeah. For you. It's, well, that's like, hey, when you Emily, when you quit your job, <laughs> you can come work for me at Caldwell's Mud Solutions. <laughs> Caldwell's Discipline, uh, Caldwell's Earth-Based Discipline Solutions. We we focus on eco solutions. I think is is the pitch. Yes, and they're earth they're earth based solutions. Earth based eco friendly solutions, and what that means is I'll stick your junk in the mud. I bring my own mud. I make my own mud. So what's going on here? I, I, okay, there, there's a lot <laughs> going on. Okay, so yeah, um, here's what you gotta do. Oh wow, this um, seems complicated. Yes, there there are several steps. That's what the arrows indicate. Mm -hmm. So first, so you put in your two weeks. Yeah, you got two weeks now. All two you're gonna weeks. eat two beautiful weeks. All you're gonna eat mm -hmm. nothing but nothing but asparagus. Yeah. for two weeks. You got you got a big pile of asparagus over mm -hmm. here. You're just munching. You're just munching. Yeah. Then, anytime you go to the bathroom, mm -hmm. instead of going to the toilet, keep it in a water bottle. Okay. So you oh you're you're doing a you pretend to go to the restroom. You still go to the restroom, but you're using a water bottle. Yes. You're saving up. Then. Under, yeah, under yeah. the cover of darkness. What are, you, what are you doing with that? You're going full ninja. Uh huh. You're just gonna stick those water bottles all over your boss's office. You're just what? gonna you're just gonna hide them. What? You're gonna hide them. You're gonna poke little holes in them. Yeah. You're gonna poke little holes in them after you hide them. So that they they slowly they slowly excrete your your uh, your bile. So you, that you that, that real gussy pee pee that you got. Right. And so your boss mm -hmm. your boss is smelling it. Your boss is like. Mm hmm. Hmm. Something. Something smells. Something smells rank something in the state smells, of Denmark. But it couldn't be. It couldn't be the employee who just left because no. she was so polite. She was model. She was so, this only works if you're super polite. Yeah. Wait. This is. You gotta be. Again. This is a long con. You gotta be patient. This is not a short con. This is not like a medium. This is not like a. a you know, like spring break. This is not like a winter. Uh, winter break. You know, like fall semester off break. Uh, con. This is a full on. Four-year con. This is a four-year accredited con. You cannot skimp on this con. Uh, I'm I'm interested in the the. I, I like this. Uh, you get the you get the satisfaction of peeing on her desk without having to like actually pee on her desk. And you need using the wee wee bottles. You can't leave like any sort of camera mm -hmm. or anything yeah. behind. You know nothing that that links it to you. you yeah. Know? I, they don't have your DNA on file. And this there, is great because like, your boss is going to come out of her office and be like, "Someone, someone left. Someone put a bunch of wee wee bottles in my office, and they smell real gussy. I got a bunch of gussy wee wee bottles in here. Who did this? You get gussy. You get getting all gussy. Uh huh. You know why it's gussy? Oh, don't get fussy because it's gussy. That's the slogan. That's another thing that um, my eco solution company will offer. We will fill. We will give you a bunch of bottles full of pee so that you can prank your boss. All right, so Emily, that's my that's my solution for you. That's I a good solution. It's based off uh -huh. of something that a friend of mine did. And, wow. Uh, he never got caught for that. True to life. So, you know, he, he put his in the ventilation system. Uh -huh. You don't want to, I mean, unless you don't like all your coworkers, you mm. could also put them in the ventilation system. Yeah. But I think it seems like your boss is the one. I got. Trying to, you're I, trying to take. I got one more solution. Uh, it's got gonna a, build off of yours. Cole's got an, another, mm -hmm. an even longer con. Yeah, it's it's quite long. Uh, so what this is? As cons mm -hmm. go, this yeah. is uh, this is the Genghis, mm -hmm. or so, at least the Kubla. Uh huh. I <laughs> How you want to rank those? Uh, yeah. I mean, Genghis is 
the most famous. It goes. But it goes. Kubla yeah. was probably the better leader. It goes Genghis Kubla uh, comic. And then um, I think and NY comic, yeah, and <laughs> comic, so NY comic, San Diego mm-hmm. comic, yeah, followed by NY mm-hmm. comic, yeah. Uh, then there's um, oh, and then Air, Air. yeah, Air. That's, we that's both, full, wow, mm-hmm. we both, got to, <laughs> yes. Um, there's thing. This is what's happening here. <laughs> that looks like a. This is a newspaper ripped rip from the headlines. Uh-huh. So what's happening here is Your that boss got fired for. Uh oh, what'd you get fired for? Gussie PP. Oh, this is just an addendum uh-huh. to my. So yeah. You do, you do that. You but frame her. You full on frame the, her. This is the coup de grace. So, what you're going to need to do for this, um, I'm going to, this little, here's, oh, here's the, the write up. Uh, it's, you know, this is New York Times. Someone, uh, new new editor, new new staff writer, but he, he did a great job because right. guess what? It's you. Yeah, the New it's York. It's you. You got a job at the New York Times and you leaked the story. Yeah. You, you leaked. You leaked more than just a story. Uh huh. You took a leak and then you leaked the story. Full on. That's you know it's the the triple leak, triple the double play, uh, triple PP, triple play. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened here is triple what you're going to do. Triple play with the hopper. Yeah. Um, the thing is, what you're going to need to do is you are going to need to um, monitor your boss's bathroom habits and uh, you know be constantly uh, stealing her pee. You, you're going to need to. It's going to involve a lot of tubes. Oh, I see. I see. So you mm-hmm. you don't even you're not even wasting all that time mm-hmm. you're spending eating the uh, the mm-hmm. asparagus. Uh-huh. You should be sneaking that into your boss's food. Yeah, uh, this is it's going to be very complicated. You're going to have to sneak asparagus into her food. Right. Um, you're going to need to again, as I mentioned, uh, somehow manage to get her pee. I think you're probably going to want to like. Uh, I would suggest uh, like rigging her. Maybe. Oh, I, I imagine she's got like a corporate bathroom. You're going to want some sort of uh-huh. rig. Yeah, you're gonna need to you're gonna need to like jerry rig her corporate bathroom to have uh, like a hose that like you know she thinks she's she thinks she's taking a normal piss. Oh, you're taking the piss. You know, we, That's where that expression comes from. All, all the Brits yeah. out there listening, what that means when you say, <laughs> "Oh, you're taking the oh, oi, mate, quit taking the piss." What that means? You're taking it. You're literally stealing their piss. You're stealing it using a ne- an elaborate uh, as a, tube network as a deep dark goof. Because you know the. Mm-hmm. The, the mm-hmm. British Underground is uh-huh. referred to as, as the tube. That's true. And they, that's why. They, that's why. Because of, of all the tubes. Well, the thing is, and like up until about the 1920s, I think, uh, piss was very valuable. Especially like uh, the piss of the upper class. It was a natural elixir. Yeah. People thought like, oh, I can gain the success of my betters you know, this if, was, I, if I just drink that sweet gussy pee. You know, that was back mm-hmm. when everyone was still, you know, mm-hmm. before... Before they had uh-huh. such processed foods, yeah. pee, pee was actually much more healthy. Guys, it's 2015. Let's no guess. No fuss. No guess. No fuss. Uh-huh. Um, it's got to be asparagus, is what I mean. But <laughs> that's what's. It's very important that it be asparagus in uh, this prank. Yes. So I think we did a pretty good job. Did you like my addendum? So this is a this mm-hmm. is a good addendum. Also, uh-huh. it it not only looks like uh, the boss's picture is in the newspaper, but yeah. it looks like it's one of those uh, Superman uh, dimensional prisons. Yes, your boss is actually <laughs> your boss is actually That's trapped the... trapped inside the newspaper forever with the word Gussie PP. I should mention. Next to her I face. should mention that that is the crime. I'm gonna just add some like you know some like things yeah. over it. That is the crime for. Um, your, for desecrating your office. Yeah, you're gonna need some. I think it's. The, I think the, it's the yeah. punishment. Yeah. Well, I think that she works for like a government institution. In, right. In my head. So what that means is like this is a, a, a felony, and everyone knows that the crime for committing a felony is you get you get uh, tossed into the phantom zone. Well, uh, there, so there you, you go. Your Emily. boss is in the phantom zone. Uh-huh. Make sure you get her to write you a couple good recommendations before yes. you throw your boss into the phantom zone. But uh-huh. after that, you mm-hmm. know. She's in there, and you hey. just you just sort of you look you look on mm-hmm. you look you look at her, and you go, "It was me." <laughs> Don't no, do not tell her because then she will find a way to escape. I did this to you. Some sort of meteor or something will free her from the phantom zone, and you'll be in big trouble because uh, you know what? She's probably still got a lot of good connections on LinkedIn, and she will ruin you. Okay, so resist the urge to co- go up to her and go, "Yeah, it was me." Don't yeah you. Don't. Don't, don't do it. Hey, yeah, don't squander it's, your chance. It's uh Don't it's pee tempting. all over your future. Yeah. Pee all over your past. Uh-huh. Exactly. Not your future. <laughs> Whoa, that's a
piss on your past, not your su- future. We super solved it. We super solved it. That's what this means. That's what this refers to. Guys, we're super solving problems here in 2015. And guess what? In the year of 100K, 2015. We're just, ugh. We super solved it, and now we're super sorry.